So we're at the tip off. We'll see how this plays itself out. Had to modify the starting lineups to make sure the right guys get the right amount of minutes. Because I know Isaiah Thomas is not going to start over Rajon Rondo or get more minutes than Rajon. Kevin Durant kicks the game off with the first shot off the backboard. I'm thinking after training camp, Rajon Rondo might beat out Lonzo Ball for that starting position. Rajon Rondo already getting the end one. And again, this is just the preview of how it might look. LeBron James! Glasses, Steph Curry, we've seen this before. This might just be a preview of how it might look if the Marcus Cousins is healthy in the playoffs and the Warriors meet the Lakers. Kyle Kuzma for three and he knocks it down. These Lakers, they look like a bunch of misfits. You got a lot of ragtag kind of players. Lance Stevenson, Kyle Kuzma. Look at Brandon Ingram getting buckets. LeBron James putting the moves on. Kevin Durant going to get the blow-by animation. Go right at Cousins and get an and one. Pass up court to Kevin Durant. Got to get back on D. Got to hate the modern-day generations, man. Everything's a pause. Get back on D. Look at JaVale McGee getting putbacks. Look at Cousins with the spin move on McGee. LeBron James blow by. Layup. And he gets it. LeBron James definitely the primary scoring option. And I don't know if that's going to be wise for him to do that this, this year. I mean, without some acquiring another superstar like maybe Kawhi Leonard, they don't have enough. Look at Kevin Durant making a the layup. They don't have enough to really compete with the Warriors for, for a seven-game series. Maybe he should wait till they get one more star. But a lot of the sports analysts, they're pressuring LeBron James to show up this year to compete for a title. Can he do that with Rajon Rondo, JaVale McGee? These guys are known. JaVale McGee's a known Shaq and a fool, dude. Rajon Rondo's a hothead. Lonzo Ball definitely... You know, with him and his father, that's already a story in its own inside dribbling. On JaVale McGee. He's become a, a major option for the Warriors for scoring. He's getting his own boards. And he finally gets fouled. You got Lance Stevenson. Another guy, known problem for LeBron James in the past. All the antics. Oh, look at Lance. I saw it on Instagram where they said that at times he was the best player on the Pacers team. And at other times, he was the best player on the opposite team's team. And Zubac on the court. The Lakers lost Lopez. Lance Stevenson over to Zubac. Zubac with the... Oh, Zubac getting buckets! Oh, well, Paul, finally, LeBron James! As long as LeBron James is on the court, the Lakers stand a chance. And Zubac with a big block! This got Zubac off the bench. He's doing a lot of work. And he finds Lance Stevenson, who's been dancing it up on Instagram. Lonzo Ball giving it down to LeBron James on the rookie. Oh, back out to Lonzo. Can he hit a three? And it's gone. Lonzo's been working on his jumper in the offseason. Is he going to return? Is it, we going to see a resurgence of Isaiah Thomas? Is Isaiah Thomas a system player? Like, maybe he's just good in that Brad Stevens system. And outside of that system, he just hasn't been able to, to get things going. LeBron James being doubled, kicks over to Caldwell Pope for three, and he gets it. We all know Pope can light it up. If you pay attention to this guy, he's definitely a fire starter for that Lakers offense. Steph Curry, he shot that knowing it was going in. Ooh, Isaiah Thomas missed Zubac, and now he got him. Zubac with a late layup opportunity, gets his own board and scores. I'm liking Zubac. Isaiah Thomas splitting the defense. Again, going right to the rim, misses, and Zubac with the board, and it's a putback. This guy, Zubac, who is this guy? Rondo on the court. I'm thinking there's going to be some great ball movement. And look at this. A lob up to JaVale. The Lakers definitely point guard heavy right now. Thomas dribbling inside with a left-handed scoop layup. Steph Curry, jump shot wide open, and it's good. Durant with the board, pushing the pace again. Draymond Green wide open for three. Look how many threes, and it's good. Rajon Rondo and Lonzo Ball on the same team. That means it's going to find, there's going to be a lot of wide open shooters on the Lakers. It's just going to be a matter of whether or not they can knock them down. Ingram with the fadeaway over Draymond. It's all buckets. And look at Kevin Durant with the pull up three. Tying the game. Lonzo Ball, he tried to lob it up and Cousins just said, give me that. Rondo, up, oh, he takes the layup in. And oh, JaVale McGee had an open layup and he misses it. How do you blow that? Rajon Rondo going up against Cousins gets rejected. JaVale, you're wide open. What are you
are you doing, JaVale? I know what you're doing. You shacked in a fool. Now you're, you're asking the referee. Nobody fouled you, man. Oh, they just missed Kuzma. And, he, and then he finds him in Cousins. Just a wild man. And JaVale, you got to box, box Cousins out. What are you doing, LeBron? And Cousins with another offensive rebound, man. He's going to be a big problem. Only four seconds left. They got to push pace. LeBron with the half-court shot. No good. I think he could have got a little closer. Going into halftime, the Warriors recover. Down by 10, now up by 6. One of the biggest questions right now is, is DeMarcus Cousins the new snake? The new, the biggest snake in the league. Coming off that injury, they were saying that he was a depressed, a very emotional DeMarcus Cousins because nobody wanted him after, you know, approaching free agency after his injury and that he was forced to take whatever he could take. But then the, that was the narrative that he wanted everybody to believe. But then it came out that the Pelicans offered him 40 million for two years. At least one of those years he'd be sitting on the bench so just collect 20 million dollars. But instead he goes to Golden State for one year and five million dollars. That's it. He could have sat on the bench and collected 20. It's just crazy. So does that make him a snake in your opinion? Let me know in the comment section. Did he just do it just to get a quick ring? Riding the pine for the majority of the season. LeBron James with the move going. Oh, gets rejected by Cousins. Kuzma open for three and he gets it. Rajon Rondo finding a seam, gets an easy layup. I don't know what's going to happen with Klay Thompson in the future. It's like his role has been so diminished. I'm thinking Jimmy Butler and, 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 and Klay Thompson might team up on the New York Knicks next year. Who knows, even Kevin Durant after tying LeBron James with three titles might end up on the Knicks next year. I know, I know, I'm just dreaming, man. Just, just let me have my dreams, please. LeBron James with the fadeaway, and it's good. Cousins push off of Jamel, Jamel McGee, and he scores on him like it ain't nothing. Just throws it into traffic, and it gets, oh, it doesn't get stolen. Kuzma with the ball, over to open Ingram, and he makes it. Kevin Durant, open shot, and it's good. Way downtown. Lance Stevenson yet to make an impact on this team. Goes up against the big man and gets his own rebound and scores. Over to Boogie Cousins. Jump shot. And it's good. And look. It looks like he's got injured. Oh, no. 2K is never wrong. Look at this. Cousins takes a tough shot. Lands wrong on his foot. On Zubac's ankle, it looks like. And look, he may have may have re-injured re that, that torn Achilles a little bit. Slow to get back. Look at this man. Oh man, look, look at 2K. 2K doesn't play. I know I just said that 2K is never wrong, but I've been predicting the finals for three years and 2K was spot on each year. Cousins on the back down on Caldwell Pope. That's a mismatch. Pope down to Lynn Stevenson. Durant pushing off of LeBron. He gets a jump shot, mid-range money. Look at this, Lonzo just throws it away. Everyone trying to lob it up to JaVale McGee. 2K tendencies are just bad on that. Wide open, Iguodala in the corner. What are you doing, Pope? Read the scouting report. That man can shoot. Lonzo over to James. James back over to Lonzo with the three-point shot, and it's good. Is it a three, though? Yes. Iguodala. Another three for Iguodala in the corner. That's not his game. Iguodala in the corner again. Lance, you can't leave him. He missed it. Thank God. I'd like to see Lance do more, but look at JaVale McGee. Wide open for another slam. Livingston over to Durant for the reverse. Up, oh, Stevenson loses the dribble. Durant with the steal. What's he gonna do? He's gonna pull up, and he's gonna get it. A lot of people don't know this, but Pamela McGee, that's JaVale McGee's mom. She played in the WNBA, and she was she's a Hall of Famer. So at times it's kind of you know it's kind of cringy, man, seeing that JaVale McGee's so goofy when his mom was such a phenomenal WNBA player. You know, she was, she was definitely a great player, went into the Hall of Fame. She played for the Los Angeles Sparks. So it's kind of cool that he's playing for the Lakers. So you put all that together, you got some great history in LA with the McGee family. Maybe he really wanted to play there. Kevin Durant, the step back three point shot, and it's good. This man is unbelievable. Kyle Kuzma with the spin, and it's good. Warriors up by 15. Ingram trying to do something. Over to Rondo. Jump shot. No good. JaVale with the offensive board. Goes up and hits the side of the backboard. Here I am standing up for JaVale McGee. 
and he's making me look bad. You gotta be aware of where you are on the floor. Shoots it up contested off the side of the backboard. Straight Shaq to the fool. Kevin Durant on Ingram. Over Ingram like it ain't nothing. You would think Brandon Ingram was like born to guard Kevin Durant with his length, his size, his, his arm length. They almost have the same or identical bodies as well. Brandon Ingram has, some, has a lot of promise, man. If he gets his jump shot right, Rondo, the pass back, stolen. And you can see that DeMarcus Cousins is lightly injured as Draymond Green gets a fast break dunk. LeBron James coming to the Lakers is not pressuring the Lakers to find another superstar right away. So it's obvious he didn't come to LA to form a super team as Durant knocks down a big three. Just seems like LeBron came to LA just to, you know, set it up for his retirement. Draymond Green for another dunk. And I know people don't want to hear that. You, they made a mural for this man. They made a mural for LeBron James. Beautiful artwork. And initially it said King of LA. And then somebody vandalized it like yesterday. And then they had to repaint it, refix it. And now it's back to normal. But they removed the of. So it doesn't say King of LA anymore. They removed that. Because in order to be one of the Laker greats, you have to bring a championship to LA. And not saying he's old. But he definitely has a lot of mileage, and he's definitely not there to build a super team right out the gate. So I don't know when it's going to happen. And look at these Warriors. They're just running amok on the Lakers right now. And Draymond Green knocks down another three. Isaiah Thomas step back over Curry. Not really no resistance there, and he gets the three. Steph Curry open three, and it's good. And if you look into the Lakers crowd, you see the, the seats. People are getting to that parking lot early. They knew this Warriors warm-up game wasn't going to be good. Is this a preview of the first matchup of the Lakers versus Warriors next season out west? I look at them like the, the misfits because the Lakers look real crazy right now. So let me know in the comment section if that's what you think. 2K is never really wrong, man. And this, this looks like it really could be the final score. LeBron James is going to need a lot of help in L.A., man. So without another big superstar name, offensively, going up against these Warriors is going to be a lot harder than it looks. In fact, it's just going to be hard in the West anyway. Just look at the box score comparisons. Kevin Durant, 31 points. Curry, 26. Cousins, 22. And we, we flip over to the Lakers. And look at this. It's Zubac leading the way. LeBron barely getting any good shots off. They're just double teaming him because no one else can shoot. And you got, you got JaVale McGee, Isaiah Thomas. Look, look, at, look at this. This is terrible. So once again, let me know in the comment section if you think this is legit results. Is 2K ever really wrong about these simulated games? I don't really think so. You know, it's going to be even tougher for them to win this year, especially if DeMarcus Cousins gets healthy. So let me know what you guys think. Is, is Cousins another snake? Is he a big snake this year? As always, smack that like button to show your support. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Definitely turn on notifications so you get these videos when they drop. And I will see you in the next one.